When you were a kid, did you ever go over to Tent City in Coronado? Oh, yes. Tell me about it and how did you get there? What did it look like? It was down uh, on the bay below the Hotel Dell and uh, next to the Yacht Club. And there used to be a boardwalk and a gym, big gymnasium there. And uh, it was a lot of fun. And uh, around 1939 or so, the Monte Carlo came aground. And we went out. It was, you know, out, a big gambling ship that uh, broke loose. Nobody was on it. And it came ashore. And it was full of slot machines. And they all washed ashore. They were all, you know, they sink in the water. And we would go out, we went out there and got on the boat and uh, walked around it. And I think it's still there, but it's in the beach now. We, I walked all over Coronado. Everything in Coronado I've been to. We used to go fishing out by the Hotel Dell on the rocks, rock jetty, and we'd pick mussels for bait. And uh, during uh, the spring, they had smelt grunion. You used to go pick grunion off the water, out of the sand, take them home and fry them. Yeah, those are good old days. Good. Was, uh, tell me about the Japanese garden close to the tent city. I don't remember too much about that. Did you go inside? Oh yeah, I, it was across the street from the Hotel Dell, and uh, it was beautiful. There's a, I don't know the names, but families lived there, took care of all the plants, and uh, we used to walk around there. It was real nice. It was a tea garden. Tell me about taking the ferry over to San Diego. Yeah, it was, it was a nickel. I used to just walk up the ramp to the top deck, get on board, and go across and get off on the other side. And I'd walk from there, usually the lane field, to watch uh, the Padres. On 4th Avenue, going towards uh, North Island, there was a horseshoe stable there, stalls, and there's a they used to pay me to clean out the stalls. They were nice. Uh, it was a, the family was the walkers. Mm -hmm. That's all I remember. But uh, they took care of the stables. And I used to go to the shows, watch, watch the horse shows. And then in those days, it was right next to the golf course. It used to be over there. It's not over there anymore. The golf course moved, and they built homes on what used to be the golf course, all the way over to North Island. And the Spanish Bight, which was the water between North Island and Coronado, that was all filled in, and they built homes there. That's all gone. This was all, you know, when I was in the seventh grade. That's when the war broke out, and we went to camp. 